Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Mean Stack Complete Live Project Development from scratch. In the previous episode, I showed you some of the screens and the templates that we are going to use in our application. We are going to build an application called Loan Manager, which is a loan management system. We will try and replicate a real time enterprise application building in this particular series. Like any good application, it requires an initial setup and installation of few frameworks and tools. We will learn all about that in this particular episode. We will do our initial setup of our application. This is part 3 of the MeanStack Complete Live Project Development from scratch. Please do support this project by liking the video, subscribing to my channel, commenting and sharing these videos. Also please do, if you like, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Thank you in advance. Alright, so today we are in the third episode. Today we'll do the installations and setup. Alright, so if you look at any application that's built in real time in, in enterprises and companies, they would prefer to have two different repos, one for the UI or the front end and the other one for the back end or we also call it as API repo. We are going to set up the front end repo using Angular CLI and build a new Angular application, install Bootstrap framework in it. That would be the basis of our application. For the back end, we will use install express generator. That's what we'll use to set up the API layer. All right. That being said, let's get started with our coding. So I have here empty folder, right? Um, let's set up uh, a folder name here for UI and call it loans UI and create one more folder called loans API. So I have now two folders. Let's go into the loans UI and here we are going to do npm install at the rate angular slash CLI. So this will bring the angular CLI uh, into the picture. You can also do hyphen G which is installed globally. I have not done it but you can consider doing that. All right. So this will bring angular 11. All right, so I'm going to show you that we are going to build an Angular application which is on um, Angular version 11. So I'll list down steps for you. So the first step is create separate repo slash folders. Right, so step number two we are doing is uh, installing Angular CLI in the UI repo. Alright, so once this is done, the next step will be to create new Angular app. So you see here Angular 11.0.5 is installed. So now we are going to now we are going to create a new app and we are going to say ng new UI or you can just give the same name any name you can give any name that doesn't matter. Um, so ng new loans UI. Now this would give us few options. It will say, do you want to use strict type checking? Now this is an important step uh, for Angular 11 onwards. It's enforcing us to use stricter type check, but we will we will say no here. Okay. The reason being that we are going to use bootstrap, which requires jQuery and other dependencies. So just say no here. We will change it later. Do you want to add routing? Say yes and select uh, SCSS, CSS, anything is fine um, as long as you are comfortable which, with whichever um, CSS framework. So for simplicity sake, I'm just putting it CSS for now. So it's going to generate the app for us now. So let, let's give a couple of minutes here. In the meanwhile, please do consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video. So once this is done, uh, the next step is to verify if the app is up and running right so we will keep doing this step to check because we don't we want to make sure that every step goes fine so once the angular application is created we will run the app just to make sure that we are seeing the basic of it correctly all right so let's give a couple of more minutes so like I said, I don't edit videos. I don't um, do fancy videos here. I do live real time raw coding so that you can also learn 
from the mistakes that I do and learn how to avoid them right so that's why uh, it may take some time so please bear with me I also see a lot of positive comments uh, coming up for this series so thank you so much for that please do share uh, your ideas and um, any any best practices that you have seen so that way we can improve this application Alright, if you are enjoying this series, um, so please do uh, consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Thank you in advance. Alright, let's give a couple of more seconds. I think it should be done soon. Alright. I hope uh, you have seen the previous videos. If not, please do check them out um, so that you learn about what kind of project we are going to build, what are the different features we are going to build, and the screens. All right, so we see that our application is done. So the next thing we'll do is ng serve, right? Which is what we will use now oh, to be in the loans UI and then serve ng serve. All right, so. This is where we'll verify by running ng serve command and this is where we will create ng new loans UI that's what we ran the command all right and to install we did npm install at the rate angular slash CLI and here we created the folders all right so it's building so let it build uh, one additional thing that you would see in angular 11 onwards is it will give you the build sizes of the output files I'll just show you that so it gives that's a cool thing right so you see here it gives you the the sizes of the builds that it's generating all right so our application is up and running and let's go ahead and verify that so let's refresh localhost 4200 we should see this screen so this is the screen uh, which says loans UI is up and running. So that means uh, our application has successfully started and it's up and running. Now that being said, the next step that we were going to do is install the bootstrap framework. Right? Install bootstrap framework. Now we are going to use version 5 in our application because that's going to be the next one. So I'm going to say npm install bootstrap at the rate next so next is uh, 5.0.1 I believe so that's what I'm using and we will use hyphen hyphen save all right so let's give it another couple of um, seconds to build and install bootstrap right okay so there you are uh, so we got bootstrap 5.0 so that's installed it's a beta version but we are still okay with it to use all right, so now that we have installed bootstrap, the next thing we'll do is npm install jQuery hyphen hyphen save. So, so that bootstrap has a dependency on jQuery. So that's why we are installing jQuery as well. Once we do this, we'll have to update our angular.json file so that it has it. All right, so we got the angular and uh, we got the bootstrap and jQuery installed. Now let's go to package.json and verify that we have got the okay so we got both the packages right now the next thing we'll do is go to angular.json under build go into styling and we are going to add it here node underscore module slash bootstrap slash dist slash css slash bootstrap dot min dot css all right so this is a path for the css i know it by heart uh, i've done it so many times but uh, for those of you who are new, uh, make sure that you check it out. Right, so jQuery.min.css. Oh, sorry, min.js here. And then you'll have bootstrap dist js bootstrap.min.js. All right, so these are the files um, that we need. We need the bootstrap min.css and we need bootstrap jQuery dist jquery min.js if you want to verify just go to node modules and you would see the packages here and pq bcd all 
All right, uh, let's find the jQuery. Okay, so we see the jQuery, we see the dist, and we see jQuery min. So I know that those files exist. So what we are going to do now is do ng serve. Okay. All right, so now we installed the bootstrap framework, we installed jQuery, and we are now running it. There will be no, there should be no difference because we have not yet applied bootstrap, but we will do that right very soon. All right, so while it is building, I will go and grab the code uh, for the bootstrap. Go to docs, pick navbar because that has a drop down functionality, which is what we will use to test. So I'm copying the navbar, go back. So it has compiled successfully collapse and then go to our app dot component. I'm going to delete everything here except router outlet. And you want to know why? Please do check out the Angular 10 series that I have already have in this particular series in this channel. So welcome to loan manager. Right. And here we are going to put our nav bar and we are going to, to give some utility class to make sure that CSS is also loaded. So now I got my navbar. I got my BG primary. We should see that in our application. Let's refresh. So now you see we got the drop down working, which means bootstrap JS is working. We got the background color blue, which means bootstrap is up and running and we are good to go and start building our UI application. I know some of you reported that the drop downs were not working, but please do follow these steps. It should happen. There is some issue with bootstrap 4.5.3. So consider using bootstrap five. All right. That being said, we are done with our UI setup for today. That's what we are doing. We installed Angular CLI and we created a new app and we installed bootstrap framework. The next step we are going to do is set up our backend repo using express generator. Right. So let's go back and now get that express generator repo created. So for that, I'm going to for those of you who are new, just go to express and then go to express generator and just say NPX express generator in the loans API folder. So I'm going to cut it here, go one level up and now I'm going to API and pasting this command NPX express hyphen generator. Now this will generate the express layout for us. All right. So we see that now it has created our application. So now we need to do NPM install and it will install all the required dependencies. All right. Let's give it a couple of minutes. So all right. So we see here we got the package. We got the node modules. Everything is up and running. So the next uh, step we are going to do is check out to run, right? So our code is in node www. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the port number because I know that in my application, the port is already occupied. So um, again, this is something that you can consider changing according to your needs. So I'm going to say run it on 6000 and I'm going to say NPM run start. Now this will run our express application which is on 6000 port. So you see it's up and running. That means our application is up and running. So what we are going to do is we are going to say localhost 6000. Right. Uh, localhost 6000. That's the port number we are running and loans API. Uh, let's quickly check it out once. What's the part? All right, 6000 app, just one second. Let me check out um, the port that it's running and HTTP local host 6000. It says site can't be reached, but I know that our application. Oh, okay, because we did not restart it. Sorry about that. So let's run it again after changing. So now it's running on 6000. So let's go ahead and check that out as well. And hit enter. You should. Oh. 
uh, HTTP local host might be perm temporarily down okay let's check it here uh, if normalize environment dot port by default it's running on 3000 so let's put it back to 3000 the one it was and npm start okay so we should see it at 3000 okay so we see that now it's loading at 3000 port so we'll use this port number uh, again you can change that port number I'll probably configure it later uh, sometime but for now we are running good on 3000 so here we have our UI repo which has the angular application right which is on 4200 and we have our backend which is running on 3000 so we have two repos one for UI one for backend running on the UI is running on 4200 the backend is running on 3000 we are all good to start creating our application this forms the basis of our application in the next uh, episode we will start with our application framework where we'll start designing the common components and we'll start building our application i look forward to uh, creating to joining you for you to join me in the next episode as well if you like this video please do um, like this video please do share please do comment also please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much see you in the next episode